Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this automatic wool farm. So the more of these dispensers as well as um like the more the more of these setups you have next to each other the better. Just to show you, I am going to be making eight instead of four. I just wanted to show you this so you, so you can get an idea. It does run pretty well. And I've only had this up for like two minutes or so. So yeah, it's not the most productive farm. But if you just want like a little bit of sheep here and there, or sheep wool, then this is perfect for you. So, you're gonna wanna build. Um, something too high. Just to let you know guys, this glass right here is not mandatory. It's just, um, it just blocks um any animals or mobs or anything that try to get in. So you can do it if you want. Um depending on how like what level of peaceful you put it on. Like I mean peaceful or um normal or hard. So Depending on which one you do. The less likely or more likely you're gonna need the glass. Let me just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one more. You guys need to grass. The only reason, guys, I'm building it up in the air is so that you guys can see everything that I'm doing and I'm not having to run around and stuff and blocking your view of things. So you can build a lot of this underground, to be honest. I'm just doing this so that you guys get a good view of what... Um, you need. Oh, yeah, I, for, I need to build out one more on each of these sides. So I need a, that grass block back for, I don't know, that row. Make sure you like and subscribe for more tutorials on bedrock like this. You have to place them like this, guys, or else the redstone signal won't... I mean, there's a different... Like, you could place them so that there's a redstone signal that's emitting from this, which will go block up and then you can activate the dispensers which I am going to put on here but this is the cheap I mean I wouldn't call it cheaper it's just the faster option like it's easier to place but it's a lot more work to get I'll show you guys what I mean. You could have an observer like this. Of course, this would mean you would need a larger space of grass. I mean, you wouldn't need a larger space, or but 
you would need you'd put your dispenser lower. Like you would just hold on. You'd put your dispenser like this. You'd do that. I don't have any redstone dust on me, but you'd place redstone dust right there. So depending on how you guys want to do it, you can, or at least what you, resources you have available. Those are two options for you. I should not have closed that off because if you guys are wondering why there is a door in my inventory, now's when you're gonna find out. So every two blocks, you're going to want to do this. So that you have three blocks there. Then you're going to want to get your sheep in here. I'm just going to spawn them in, but if you're going to do this in like In survival, you'd have to bring them over here. It would be a lot more work, guys. But I'm just gonna, just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna spawn them in. So there's four sections of two sheep. Hold on, I need more shears than that. If you guys want to skip ahead from this part, you can. I'm. I just need. To, I just had way too little shears, like half as many as I need. So yeah. In each of these dispensers, you're gonna place one shear. So that each shear that you have will shear one sheep. They have, I think, 283 clicks, guys. I do not know how many exactly. But basically, it's a lot of clicks. But once you guys, um, do that, like you can also trade with villagers to get shears, but yeah, so. Now for the next section, which I'm going to do fairly quickly because I don't want to lose all of this sh sheepy stuff. So here I'm just going to use grass blocks. You can use whatever blo block you want. And you're going to want to fill that in. Yes, there's annoying little dots, and it's very annoying, yes, but that's the price you gotta pay if you want a reliable sheep farm, or wool farm. You only need two power drills Two of these, and if you want to turn it off, just break one of the, these, um, torches. And then you're just going to place normal rails. And find basically the center point. I mean, it doesn't matter which point really. 
You're gonna wanna... Doesn't matter which side, but generally I like to put it on the side with where the sheeps are so you don't have to look at the observers. You are going to want hoppers for this part. Make sure they lead into the chest. Um, then you're going to want to put rails over them. And then you're going to want to run that. And then you, that will allow this to collect. So you got, you got wool guys. But just to let you know, guys, the more grass that you have around the grass here, the better. So that the grass will reproduce faster and you can end up collecting more wool. So if, if you guys are doing this on a normal survival world, then you don't, you don't, you guys don't really have a problem with grass. I do because it's in the air. But this is your sheep farm, guys. It's really effective. The more that you have, the better. The like the more stalls you have. That's just what I'm going to call them. Like the more of the stalls you have, the better because then you get more sheep wool. Like you, I, I don't, I don't even really think there's a limit. It's just, um, there's just a lot of, um, space it, it would just take up a lot of space and you'd have to do a lot of clearing out so if you were gonna do this in a survival world i'd probably do 16 out and then on the other side i'd do 16 so that you can save space and not have to clear out as much and not have to go in one sh straight enormous line but that's just me guys if you like this video leave a like and subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe guys, just subscribe, and I'll see you in another video.